Hello everybody and welcome back to Outcast Studios. I hope you've all had a good day. Um, really? Really? I, I've just pressed record. Y you have had all of the time before I pressed record to do this, and you're choosing to do this now that I finally press record. <sighs> okay. Now, before we get started today, um, I've completely forgot what I was saying in the intro, so this might not flow at all. But, uh, yeah, before we get started today, just a couple of things I need to cover. The first one being, sorry if you can hear any noise in the background in today's, uh, episode of Starsick. Um, not only am I having my regular mic issues that two, and c count them two, uh, ground loop noise isolating, uh, things could not fix. But on top of that, I also have a fan running in the background because the English heat is genuinely making me feel like I'm dying. It's actually made me feel sick. Just the act of talking alone is making me wish I was dead. So in order to make sure I don't actually collapse and die at my desk, I, I have a fan running. It shouldn't pick up all that clearly on the mic, but just in case you do hear something weird, that's why. But yes, so with all of that out of the way, Let's get into today's episode. Now, I can't stay in this area too long because the dense uh, population of these um, beautiful nodes is really um, hard to deal with. Um, but, as you can see here in between episodes, I did manage to fix our automated starlight uh, generation system. It's very ugly, so I'm planning on putting it un under... Ground. It's, um, fine. Um, right, yes, uh, I, I'm, I'm planning on putting it on the ground at some point and then piping the starlight up into uh, more aesthetic collectibles, but, like I mentioned, it is working. In fact, it's worked so well that this immediately filled up uh, upon me turning it on. Uh, so we need today, after sleeping of course, to uh, quite simply uh, find some more space for the damn thing. Because apparently the biggest tank that Mechanism has just isn't enough. Hey there everyone, so uh, Drifter from the further, further, further future here. Uh, if you're seeing this, uh, that means that I forgot to include the segment where I showed you how I actually made this. And just sorta, um... Interesting and just sort of uh, skimmed over the fact that this exists. Uh, when I recorded a time-lapse of me making this, um, so yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna splice this in, but just, you know, uh, if you're seeing this, here's how I made the Starlight Collection device. I made an entire time-lapse to show you how I built the center thing, how I built the mechanical arm, the thing that's like hidden down here. I, I don't even think you can see it. That thing there, just, Moving around in there. I made an entire time lapse dedicated to showing you how I built that, as well as this big machine, and then just proceeded to not show it at all. So here it is now. Hope you enjoy, and then uh, after the time lapse ends, you'll be back with me from the past. So, uh, yeah. See you then, guys. Hope you enjoy.
But like I said, before we uh, even touch that with a 10 foot pole, we uh, we do really need to sleep. I bet you haven't seen this room in a while. I'm pretty sure my bed's still down here, which is, you know, why I'm here. But uh, as you can tell from looking at the unfinished framed slabs and the missing liquid starlight down here, uh, moving this thing over kind of messed it up. So uh, once we've, um, you know, fixed and figured out uh, all of the top floor, we uh, then need to come down here and uh, rebuild the bottom floor. But before that, let's just uh, let's take a nap. So, now that we have slept and the sun has risen, we need to find a way to store this liquid starlight. Now, instinctually, I'm wanting to go with the Create Fluid tanks, just because, as far as I'm aware, they're the only tank that actually connects to its itself uh, in this mod pack. Uh, you see, if I just type in, just tank on its own, like this, uh, the Singularity tank does not connect, uh, the Ultimate Fluid tank does not connect, the Fluid Storage tank does not connect, and the Ender tank isn't a storage device, it is a transfer device. Now the Singularity tank claims to hold 32,000 millibuckets, or 32 buckets, however, the ultimate tank that we have over there is 112,000 millibuckets, which using this conversion rate is 112 buckets, so it's still not enough. However, we do have one thing in here that while not looking the best, would certainly help us in terms of storage. And it's not this one here, it's this one over here. It's called the Supreme Black Hole Tank. And this can hold 2,147,483,647 millibuckets, which, using this conversion rate, is 2,147,483 buckets. And all things considered, it is very cheap. So, um, let's get working on this, shall we? Although, I think before we do any of this, we need ourselves the Disillusion Chamber. We need ether gas, which comes from, uh, a laser drill with a purple laser lens. Actually, I don't know how you do any of this. Now, we could go with the simple black hole tank, which only requires a simple machine frame, which, again, in a Disillusion Chamber is just plastic, a pity machine frame, nether brick, gold gears, and latex, which comes from putting lots logs in a fluid extractor, and the simple black hole tank holds 1,024,000 millibuckets, which is actually only 1,024 millibuckets. So you know what? I think we should just go big or go home. I'm gonna make the supreme black hole tank. So, for that I need a supreme machine frame, which requires plastic, an advanced machine frame, netherite, diamonds, a diamond gear, and ether gas. Now, out of all of this, the ether gas is the hardest thing for me to get because I have no idea how laser drill fluids work. Okay, so I've just done some research. Since uh, industrial foraging, or I guess foregoing, I always sort of read that wrong, is a mod that I've never touched before, ever? I decided to just quickly have a look through the wiki page, and now I know what I'm doing. So, it's not actually as complicated as it makes itself out to be, especially with this as an interface. It's actually very simple, especially when it comes to getting ether gas. All we've got to do, we've got to make ourselves a fluid laser base. Here we go, we need four of these, which requires... Uh, two diamond gear per, so two times four, we need eight diamond gears, and we need advanced machine frames alongside them, which is pink slime with a disillusion chamber, a simple machine frame, and a bunch of other stuff, and uh, pink slime comes from a mob slaughter factory, and you get pink slime as like a byproduct of harvesting uh, mob souls, I guess? It, it's like goop. It is fleshy goop. And then a mob slaughter factory is actually very uh, cheap, all things considered. It's a very long process, but it is a very easy one. And in an effort to save time, I'm just going to quickly snap my fingers, and we're going to have ourselves the slaughter machine. So, in a three, in a two, 
in a one in a and just like that we have ourselves the mob slaughter factory so this thing does require power meaning we have to set it up somewhere that either has direct access to sunlight or isn't too far away from one of our pre-existing cable structures something that we don't actually have now that i think about it the closest thing we've got to that is uh this and the ones on the individual shield generators up top so i think just for the sake of ease what i'm going to do is i'm going to just plop this down like this there we go it is currently backwards which is great that's exactly what i was hoping for let's see if we can find a way to place this the correct way around there we go now it's uh death beam is facing my way so looking at this uh the progress keeps going up and down uh, so I'm assuming that this is constantly trying to slaughter whatever's in front. Uh, this is the meat tank. Don't ask. And this is the pink slime tank. Once again, please do not ask. So, show working area. Anything in this area right here, it should be trying to actively kill. Now, I am not registered as a threat because I'm not a mob, so it's not doing any damage to me. So what we need to do, we need to find a way to bring this thing some sacrifices. Now, in my experience, there is only one way of doing this, and that is with an item known as the Golden Lasso. However, I don't think we actually have that in this mod pack, which means we need to look into uh, mob containment devices. Here we go. I'm pretty sure we built one of these a while ago. It is just plastic around a ghast tier. I could have sworn I'd already made one of these. Where did it go? To be honest, I'm checking all of these chests like it just wouldn't be quicker to go and make a new one. I believe the last time I had it was actually at the Batania Hut when I tried setting up the ritual sacrifice automation machine that didn't work. Um, yeah, I'm giving myself flashbacks just looking at this thing, and I, suddenly I'm not as confident in my ability to generate pink slime as I perhaps was the last time I attempted this. Somehow there are just five diamond blocks and three dark meta pedestals here that I just forgot about. And amongst all of this stuff, there are no mob containment devices. Genuinely shocked. I, I have no idea where I could have possibly put it. Let's go make a new one. Okay, so we don't actually have any ghast tears, which means we need to very quickly just make a trip into hell. So, uh... Uno momento, por favore. Right then, ghasty boys. So believe it or not, I've never actually had to hunt for a ghast before. I have no idea where they spawn. I heard one. I heard one. Where are you? There you are. Give me your tears. That's it. Cry for me, you absolute degenerate. Cry. I want to see you begging on your knees and whimpering. I want to see you crying. I got a tear. And with gas tear in hand, we may now return back to the portal. As long as I can remember where the portal is. And with our gas tears that I have just very quickly EMC'd, we can now make ourselves 16 mob imprisonment tools. We don't need 16, obviously, but um, I like the thought that I can have 16 should I want 16. And look at that. It's night time out, which means we have plenty of test subjects for us to use. Come along, Itsy Bitsy Spider. It's time to turn you into Itsy Bitsy Pink Goop. Shut up. Of course, now that we have the spider, all we have to do is drop it right there. And it's dead. In fact, it existed for a solid maybe millisecond or so before it completely evaporated into 300 millibuckets of liquid meat and 15 millibuckets of pink slime. I have been given power that I don't believe any one man should have access to. And I love it. Hey, Mr. Skeleton, guess what? You're boned! That was very little pink slime. I guess the Batman went from fighting Clayface to having a Clayface. You've heard of Orange is the New Black. How about Green is the New Pink? Enderman? More like... You're dead now. Incredible Hulk? Nah. More like Incredible Mulch. A skeleton that shoots their shot? Nah, I prefer a bone that likes to get slimy. Spider-Man, more like- I'm running out of puns. 
Do me a big old favor and don't question the logic on this one. Okay, so if one zombie is worth 0 0.020 millibuckets, that means that five of them is worth uh, 0 0.1, which means we need, if I just do the math, 50 zombies. We need 50 zombies in order to get ourselves one bucket of pink slime. I need to find a way to pump the liquid meat out of here before it gets too full. Uh, hold on, let me just sort something out for that. Okay, and I do believe I have just sorted that out. Neither fluid is left in the machine now. We have the uh, pink slime on the uh, left tank, or I guess the rightmost tank, considering if I'm facing this way, it's the right one, and then we have the uh, liquid meat in the other one. Now, interestingly enough, liquid meat can be used to create mechanical dirt. I have zero clue what that could possibly mean. It can be used to generate some very powerful stuff metallurgic mycelial generator i don't know if this is being powered by the ingots or if this is generating the ingots through the liquid meat i, I don't know uh, but then you can put it in a washing factory to either have raw or meat <laughs> uh, for lead diamond and redstone and tin and nether I don't know what any of this could possibly mean uh, but then you've got heat properties something to do with ice and you can make a, a liquid meat bucket I, I genuinely don't know what any of this could be used for beyond the mycelial, mycelial generator um, but uh, that's not important this is just to keep this from filling up what we need is enough of this for a single bucket so let's get back to harvesting the flesh and slime of the innocent you know what there is definitely a more efficient way of doing this and i think i found it one moment step one of making things just that little bit more efficient step two of making things just that little bit more efficient step three in making things just that little bit more efficient can things please stop blowing holes in my floor for five minutes and the best way that we can set these up i believe is one here one here and one here not connected to a spawner that sucks how do i connect these things again from there, all that is left is quite simply to power the thing on, and we do that using a lever, or I guess three levers, since we need to turn all of these on. So now, I need to feed one of these things some gunpowder, I need to feed one of these things something organic, and one of these things some sort of flower, be it mushroom or something else. So And so now with this last input of pumpkin seeds, this whole machine should emphasis on should here be fully functional. That's a very tentative fully functional. But a fully functional nonetheless. This requires 0.1 of gunpowder, 0.5 of whatever this is, but a full 20 of whatever the earthy material is, which is why this is taking so long to spawn something. You'd think that the watcher flowing time would be able to reach that one over there, but I believe it's actually just outside of its radius. So in an effort to make this all the more equal, I think I might move the watcher flowing time. If I put this here, and then I put this here, and then do this, it should be fully functional on all facets. And now, if I look inside of the spawner... Oh! Well, I, sh I just saw that appear right before my eyes. Yeah! It, it, it did what it needed to do. It, it summoned the creeper. And then it killed it. So we've got 477 millibuckets in there right now. As soon as this ticks over to 20, which I believe the only reason it's taking so long is because of item transfer speeds. I think if I can find a way to up the speed. Oh, there we are. It spawned another one. 
497. All I have to do now is wait here AFK for this to generate enough pink slime for us to get a single bucket's worth. So, I will be right back. Okay, all my guys, gals, and non-binary pals, look at what we have right here. 1,177 millibuckets, which is just over one full bucket. So, if we just find somewhere to quickly dump this lava... Ignore that. We can then grab ourselves some of this pink slimy goodness. There we go. So next things next, our machine required us to have something known as a disillusion or dissolution chamber, depending on how you want to say it. In fact, almost all of what we're going to be building is centered around this dissolution chamber. So I believe that should be what we focus on building next, which requires the pity machine frame, which is actually very easy to make. In fact, the only thing we're missing from this recipe is the diamond gear, which we can do just like that. So if we just craft ourselves the dissolution chamber, there we go. Let's take this down into the machine room. You know, I never thought I'd see the day where I was the one to start mixing magic and science together. Let's put this over here. Let's put it on this side of the room. And let's just feed the cable uh, over the top so that it uh, looks less unsightly, shall we? There we go. One very long connection later. We now have, dear God, what the hell is this thing? That's its official name, by the way. Came up with that one all by myself. I am just so smart like that. But as we know from the recipe that we've been looking at for the fluid laser base, we need pink slime in the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click with this pink slime. And there we go. We now have enough of that in the center. The second thing we need is netherite scrap on either side. Now you get netherite scrap by smelting ancient debris, something that while hard for others to get is not so much for us considering we have 12 ancient debris just sat in our backpack. So let's smelt this puppy up. There we go. Nice and simple. Ooh. Yeah, I just got, I caught a glimpse of that walking in through the top. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe if it was a little more symmetrical? I might spend some time tidying up the piping uh, after we finish with today's session. Hmm. Not a bad look, just... Not the best. Either way, the scrap goes there, and then the scrap also goes there. So we've got scrap on either side. Next up, we need two golden ingots in the bottom squares. One there, one there. And we need another diamond gear for the middle piece. So let me just go grab that one now. One, two, three, four. And then we need an iron nugget. Bish bash bosh, diamond gear. And that goes in the bottom part. Just like that. So all that's left now is the three slots at the top, which consist of two bits of plastic, which we have plenty of in the computer, and a simple machine frame, which requires us to use the disillusion chamber with an entirely different recipe. Okay, give me a moment. Now, the simple machine frame requires the use of a pity machine frame. Still needs plastic, so we're fine on that front. Two nether brick, two iron, a gold gear, and latex. And latex comes from a fluid extractor with logs in, which means the next thing we need to be build, which for some reason is power optional, is a fluid extractor, which requires another pity machine frame. And some cobble, a piston, some iron, and a lightweighted pressure plate. So let's, let's build the fluid ex extractor. And there we go. The most tedious process. And I feel like I say this every episode, but the most tedious process known to man. With that out of the way, we can bring the fluid extractor down into the basement. Where we can then feed it a log to get ourselves... Some, why are you... Why do they always place backwards? Where we can feed it a log so that we can... You know, I have a feeling this one's backwards as well where we can feed it a log to to get us some latex so how do i feed this thing how do i feed it wood you know what let's find out so i'm assuming that i just right click this thing right there's no internal inventory unless you want me to place it directly in front Oh, you place it in front like a tree harvester, and eventually, when it keeps ticking down, it breaks the block ever so slightly. 
and I'm assuming once it's broken the full block, it'll take the the latex? Because it's got a tiny dint in it there, but it doesn't seem to be growing any more than just a tiny dint. So far it's managed managed to extract 32 millibuckets, 34 millibuckets, and it's still going, so... I don't know, I guess I'd just leave this until it's got enough for me to take. While it's getting the latex, I might as well grab the ingredients for the rest of the simple machine frame. The first one being nether brick. Next one after that is iron and a gold gear, just like that. And then we also need to take the plastic with us because we need quite a lot of it. So, latex aside, since we don't quite have enough for a full bucket yet, what we're going to do, we're going to put the gold gear here, we're going to put the iron on either side like that, then it was the nether brick here and here. Uh, let me look at the recipe again. After that, it was the plastic and then the pity machine frame. So if I just put plastic here, plastic here, I need to go craft, I think, two more? pity machine frames or at least I would if my game hadn't just crashed on me because I think it's run out of memory because God hates me and if you this mod pack just doesn't like working it will do everything in its power to do anything but just work I have zero words how 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 Okay, what did I need? It was the stupid machine frame thing, right? Yeah, that was it. I needed two pity machine frames. So let's grab one, and then let's grab two. There we go. So we can use the first one to convert, and then we can use the second one for the other thing that I forgot the, the purpose of. What? What? I am, I am so sick of this mod pack. Okay, so we put the pity machine frame up there. All that is left now is the silicon, I believe it was. So what I'm going to do for now, I'm just going to put the bucket of pink slime down. That is disgusting. Does it give me any negative effects for standing in it? No, in fact, it's as if it's not even there. I wonder if I can drown in this. Nope. Okay, well, that's even grosser. Either way, give me some of that sweet, sweet latex. And there's not enough latex yet. I still need another 6,000-ish, 7,000-ish millibuckets before, um... Not 1,000, sorry, 100. Another 700-ish millibuckets before I can actually do anything, so, um... Guess I'm waiting around again. Ugh. Okay, then. And that is 1,000 millibuckets of latex, which is the equivalent of... One full bucket. So let's drop the pink stuff. Let's grab the latex and drop that in there. And then that should start running automatically. There we go. Let's just wait until it runs up. Three, two, one, and there. There we go. Simple machine frame. Brilliant. Motto bene. So that goes in the top. And then all we have to do is put the plastic on either side and then the netherite scrap in the middle two. So one, two, there, and then along the top, we got the plastic there, and then, oh yeah, oh yeah, we got the diamond gear in the middle down there, and then it's gold on either side, and then I grab myself a bucket, and I go for a ride, and I grab myself the pink stuff in the corner, I drop it in the bucket, and then I gonna take it over to the disillusion chamber, and drop that, <laughs> drop it in the chamber. <laughs> uh, if you, um, if you can't tell, I've got music on in the background. I was doing, I was, I was listening to music while I was waiting for that to render out. Um, question, how do I dump the latex? Wait, I think I might have figured it out. Hold on. No, wait, that still wouldn't work. So there's not enough for a full bucket in there. So what am I doing? I need some pipes to pipe it out. I wonder if I can put it back in the other machine right here. Let me grab some cables and we'll figure it out. Are we clear? Yeah. <laughs> and the best part is yes we can. Check it out. The latex is slowly now starting to pump itself back in. No it's not. It's not moving anywhere. 
Great. Okay, you know what? Let's just set this to push out the right side, maybe? Or pull out the right side? No, definitely not pull. We don't want to pull. That started adding it in. Uh, what if we push? Is that is it? Is it going to send it back in there? I really hope it sends it back in there. Uh, tell you what, that's the left side for this machine. So what if I set the left side to pull? Still nothing. Not good. If I enable it, if I push, nothing happens. Pull, nothing happens. Disabled, nothing happens. Uh, right, we might have an issue on our hands. One that can only be fixed by quite simply just breaking the machine. Right then, so now we should be able to just put the pink slime in and watch as it starts to render out. There we go, we got ourselves an advanced machine frame. So, the next step is to use the advanced machine frame along with two extra diamond gears, a piece of redstone dust, two buckets, and some plastic and a diamond pickaxe to make ourselves the fluid laser base. So let's go do that. And with a click of this singular button, we now have ourselves the fluid laser base. So, with the fluid laser base in hand, we can now move on to the next step of our 20 billion step plan to get bigger fluid storage for our starlight generation machine. Okay, so the next thing on the list of things we need to make now that we have the fluid laser base is we need to make ourselves some fluid laser drills. Now, the fluid laser drills are uh, gold gears, redstone dust, pistons, plastic, a diamond gear, and another simple machine frame. So that means we need another pity machine frame. I knew, I knew, I knew I built the second one for a reason. So if we very quickly just drop the uh, pity machine frame up here, then it was the plastic on either side, then it was the nether brick on either side, if I'm remembering this uh, correctly. Yep, and then iron and a gold gear. So let me just go grab the last two components. One, two. And of course, if we do one, two, three, four, and then drop a... Oh, we're out of iron nuggets. Bish, bash, bosh, ding, 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 dong, bong. There we go. Gold gear, nice and lovely. So if I drop the uh, iron here and here and the gold here, we should still have enough pink slime uh, or at least I thought we did, to make the second one. Oh, it's latex we need, not pink slime. That means I've got to... Oh, that means I've got to waste the pink slime that's already in there. No! Oh. Well, you can't win them all. Thankfully, over all of this time that I've been uh, going back over my notes to make sure I know what I'm doing, this thing has nearly filled itself up again, so we can just grab this in a second anyway. But while we wait for that to happen, the guide that I'm following so far has taught me one very important thing, and that is that while you could get multiple of these, for example, for the fluid extractor, you could make this a thousand times more efficient, or I guess three times more efficient, by just placing one, two, three more surrounding the singular log, you don't have to, as long as you're willing to wait. I have a feeling it's the same sort of thing when it comes to the laser drill. I feel like we only need one drill and one base, and that it'll just take a lot longer uh, to get what we're after. Um, and I'm willing to just sort of wait instead of put in the effort to make more of these because as it stands, it is a very tedious process to keep making this sort of stuff. I could, if I wanted to, set up automation for it, but that comes a hell of a lot later down the line. Right now, we just need the bare essentials to get what we need and that's it. We don't need to worry about automation for a long time. We need to be a lot further ahead than we are right now before we have to worry about automating everything like this, you know? Right now, my main worry is that I don't starve to death. Which you might think is slightly dramatic, but trust me when I say it is possible and it has happened, okay? I am not very smart at all. And with a quick old yoink, we've got some latex, and with a quick old sploink, we've got that latex processing. ETA, 13 seconds, that's just enough time for me to take a swig of my juice. And there we have it, everybody, another simple machine frame. So, 
Now that we have the simple machine frame part to Electric Boogaloo, we can then put it to good use crafting ourselves the laser drill. So, all of this stuff is either in my inventory or in the computer, so let's head up there very quickly. And there we go, with a quick old click of the button, we now have ourselves the one and only laser drill. So, we now have the laser drill and the fluid laser base. So, allow me to show you something very quickly. Do you see... Uh, not this. Do you see here, this screen? So this is basically telling us how we need to set these things up. So we need a purple laser lens and we can put this in any biome. Um, I don't know what over means. Originally, I thought that meant overworld. If it does, then I have no idea why it says wither. If it doesn't, then I feel like it wants me to put it on top of uh, something withering, maybe a wither rose. I, I don't quite know. Uh, but either way, this shows us what biomes we're allowed to put the laser in and what we're not. Now, uh, this one, to make ether gas, we can put it absolutely anywhere. However, there are some, like when we create lava, that would force us to put this in the nether in order to generate it. You, uh... You still following? So, now that we've got these two things anyway, the next thing we have to do is set the machines up. So bear with me while I quickly check to make sure I'm doing it in the correct uh, configuration. And then we'll get this bread, gamers. So the next step would, would be to put glass one, two, three, and four, just like that. And then to put the purple dye here, I believe. And that combined with some latex in the center should be giving us the correct focus. So if I just ether gas, laser drill fluids, purple laser lens, and then go to the disillusion chamber, one, two, three, four, five, 250 millibuckets of latex. So yeah, I've, I've got it right. It's all it needs is, is 250 and we've got 750. So why are you not doing the do? Oh, I put the glass blocks in. I'm an idiot. We needed the panes. Now it's working. There we go. So if I now take the purple laser lens, where did that go? There it is. Purple laser lens. And I drop that. This is the setup, by the way, into here. Progress zero out of 20. Uh, output, yeah, depth 67. Don't know what that means. This has got full power. Target 404 not found. That's great. It's supposed to be working in this area. Is there something that's not in this area that it needs? Something about a wither. Do I need Do I need to put a, a, a wither creature in here? Do I need to summon the wither in here? Because if so, we are, we are moving this whole setup. Okay, so looking around, the only thing that it doesn't cover is this depth slider. I have a feeling that maybe it has something to do with the level at which you find ether gas. But I have zero clue. Right here, for example, it's ah, minimum zero, max two fifty six. So it can it can be found anywhere. But if it can be found anywhere, then why is it not why is it not doing its thing? If it can be found at any level, why is it not now? doing anything how have i messed this up somehow what i don't get it it's supposed what you're harvesting the air you're, you're you're harvesting the air so why aren't you harvesting anything from the air i don't understand whoever wrote the instruction manual for this should be shot for fucking war crimes over wither what is wither there is no block called wither. If I type in wither, the only thing there, do you want a wither skull? Do you want me to give you a wither skull? That is the only block that is called wither that comes from default Minecraft. You know what? You want wither? I'll give you a wither skull. Let me go get you a wither skull. Yeah, okay, so if you want wither so badly, if you want wither so badly here, you can have a bunch of wither skulls. You want wither so badly, well here you go. This is wither. There is no block in this game that goes by wither other than wither skeleton skull. So you want wither so badly, you can damn well have it, hmm? Or is that not going to work? Because I don't think it's going to work. Because I don't think wither refers to wither skulls. Because I'm not a brainlet, unlike whoever wrote the instructions for this device. Hey guys, you aren't gonna believe this. You really aren't gonna believe this. But I've just... My mind is blown by the sheer goal that this device has to ask this of me. But I figured out what I'm doing wrong. Put simply, it was serious. It didn't want 
wither block. It wanted the wither. Just the mob of the wither. It wanted a legitimate wither. So, we're gonna have to make a stasis chamber. From what I've seen, this is one of my new favorite blocks of all time. Genuinely, the stasis chamber looks brilliant if it works the way I think it does. Uh, and it's really cheap to craft for how good it's supposed to be. But we're desperately gonna need this if we're gonna contain an actual live wither. Now, a stasis chamber requires another advanced machine frame. You've already seen me make one of these, okay? From the simple machine frame. In fact, do I... You know what, I'll just go make one now. I'll I'll just show you I'll show you me making it just so you can see me do it again. You've just seen me do it, but I, I kinda want to make another one now just to show you the stasis chamber. Hold on. And with these two bits of iron and a quick pour from the bucket with some latex, this is now generating us the simple machine frame. So let's just wait for this to pop on out. There we go. Let's grab the simple machine frame. Let's uh, replenish this machine by replacing the latex inside of it with the oink oink piggy juice. And the next step with the pink slime in it is to make ourselves the advanced machine frame. So two netherite scraps on either side, one, then two. Then after the netherite scraps, it was plastic. So one and then two. After the plastic, it was uh, the simple machine frame. So let's pop that up there. There we go, that gives us some room for the glass to come back in our inventory. Then it's two pieces of gold, and then the diamond cog, so let's go grab those. Here we go, so it was gold, gold, and then the diamond cog, and that's gonna start pumping out our advanced machine frame. There we go, now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna make a big old yoink, and I'm gonna go upstairs to the computer room. I'm gonna make myself two gold gears, I'm gonna clear all of this out of here, and then I'm gonna make myself, oh, I need a piston, don't I? And then after the piston, the last thing I need to grab is some soul sand. Uh-oh. Of all the times for my flying ring to run out of energy, now was not the best time. And now that we're back in the computer, all we have to do is top the top off with some soul sand. Oh, no, the recipe is missing. We have to do a little more than top the top off, but there we go. Either way, we now have the stasis chamber. Oh, this thing is so cool. If this works the way I think it does, this is genuinely one of my new favorite pieces of tech. The fact that something like this exists on a planet like Anadonia is genuinely baffling. This is eons ahead of what else I found here. So, all I've got to do, I'm going to knock out the bottom one, and I'm going to run power cables along this part here. So if I dig down one, two, and then a third one, and then here. There we go. So if I run power along here now, so one, two, three three, four, five, there we go. I can then drop the, uh, oh, wait, hang on, no, I need this one here. I can then drop the stasis chamber here. There we go, I can connect it up to the power supply like that, and then I can do show working area. It's uh, just overlapping. So, what this does now is, as long as it's powered, I'm pretty sure, as soon as I, yep, as soon as I step into its working range, I am stuck. I cannot move. I am legitimately just stuck in one place. The only way I can move is to jump, and the only reason that's possible is because it's a bug with the way that slowness works. Otherwise, I am completely isolated. All I would have to do is set this up in an area where jumping is impossible, or an area where jumping is is punished by damage, or just in an area where jumping would not be viable, and you've got the perfect prison. It is brilliant. But there's a reason we've built the perfect prison, and that's because you would only build the perfect prison for the perfect prisoner. I think we know where this is going. Part of me feels like this is a really bad idea doing it inside of our base where all of our cool stuff and important stuff is, but I have faith in the power supply grid, although considering the wither explodes things when it spawns in. Perfect prison for the perfect prisoner, 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 please, please stay there. I am begging you stay there. You staying there? You, uh, 
You safe to approach? You done charging up? You, you, you safe, it's safe to approach. There isn't even a, oh. That's, that's really scary. There isn't even a boss bar. It is just frozen. Oh, this is brilliant. We have ourselves a pet wither. We've got a pet wither. <laughs> oh, I love that. We've got a pet with her. Gucci, Gucci, go. Gucci, Gucci, go. Who's a good little boy? Who's a good little boy? Who is the reason that several galaxies don't exist anymore? You are. Yes, you are. <laughs> and this is how we harvest ourselves ether gas. I don't know if I need to change the depth or not, but as it stands, as long as this thing is in place. We, we should be harvesting ether, which is brilliant. I love it. Okay, so after some painstaking revision, and I mean painstaking revision, this should theoretically now be working. I just need to make sure that this thing has power. So if I pull it all the way around here to plug it in with some power activated, there we go. It should now be slowly focusing through the purple lens to give us some of the gas. This is the most complicated, convoluted, and hardest to place set of blocks I have ever laid my eyes on, and I will be glad when I am dead so I do not have to interact with them again. Slight over-exaggeration, perhaps. But trust me, I have spent an hour of my life trying to figure out the correct placement for these things, because it is not it is very much not easy, but there we go. Progress, 16, uh, 17, uh, 18, uh, 19, and 20. And we now have 10, count them 10, millibuckets of ether gas. And um, not to be that person, but um, we need at least 135 millibuckets of ether gas. <clears throat> so, while we wait for that to chug along, let's get the rest of this because we need to make a, another advanced machine frame which would require another simple machine frame which, which requires latex and another pity machine frame. Joy to the world, my sanity is gone. I just realized I'd paused my recording when I did that. Um, but we have the simple machine frame now. <laughs> now we're about to uh, turn it into the advanced machine frame, so we now need pink slime in the center, so let's break the machine. This is now going to upgrade itself to uh, the uh, advanced uh, machine frame. Uh, yep, there we go, advanced machine frame, which is then used to make the supreme machine frame. Now, for this one, we need the ether gas that's still cooking up. We need plastic, proper netherite ingots, two diamonds, and a diamond gear. So we're getting very expensive here. So netherite, netherite, advanced machine frame, plastic, plastic. Then, we've got diamond, diamond. Let's go make the diamond gear very quickly. Oh, of course, you can't put miller buckets in a bucket. It needs to be a thousand. Are you kidding? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not waiting for that. Hang on. Output. It can be outputted from all directions. It's going to be outputted now. We're, we're bringing this in manually. I am not waiting that long for 135 miller buckets of ether gas. Okay, that's not happening. There we go. Pump to the ether gas straight in. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and yay! We have the super machine frame. Great. Let's move on to the next part. <laughs> Actually, you know what? No, I'm not moving on to the next part. I'm going to sit here and revel in the fact that even though it's taken me three, nearly pushing four hours, I finally have the super machine frame, the most integral component to the supreme black hole tank, which can hold 2,147,483,647 millibuckets of liquid, or put into actual buckets, you know, terminology, which I don't know why it isn't by default, 
2,147,483.647 buckets worth of liquid. In fact, now that we have this, we can just go and make it. We have everything else. Let's go and make it. We're gonna go make it. Let's go make it. You are kidding me. You are kidding me. Are you serious? Are you genuinely serious? After all of that, you're gonna crash on me? Oh, if I wasn't poor, my fist would be going straight through that glass. Sorry for the noise, I put my fan back on to help me cool off. Um, but what was I doing? I, I was making something, wasn't I? I was making, um, void tank. Nope. Black hole tank. There. And if I click this, we now have the supreme black hole tank tank. Now if you will for me, please cast your minds back all the way to the start of today's episode, which I know might be hard because I can already tell today's is going to be a long one. The reason we set out on this journey was because this tank right here, the, the biggest tank you can get in mechanism, filled up too quickly with this new system, right? This new automated system filled up so genuinely quickly that we needed a better storage system. So we have created the biggest fluid tank that we can get in this mod pack, the Supreme Black Hole Tank. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach it to the system. So if I just plug it in right here, we now have 360-ish buckets of pure liquid starlight. Look at that. Night Look how quick it's filling up. This is this is pure buckets. Ignore the thousand. Cut off the thousand. The first number. That's how many buckets we have. We now have 400 buckets of liquid starlight. That's how good this system is. It is brilliant. And it's also quite backed up. So, all there is to do now to finish off today's episode, because you know what? Normally I'd save it until the start of the next episode, but I feel like I want to just cap off this saga now. I'm going to end the recording here, and I'm going to finish off today's episode with the time-lapse of me filling in the starlight gutters, okay? So, that is it for the end of today's episode. Obviously, there is still the time-lapse after this, so don't click off until you've seen that. But, if you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please remember to subscribe to show me that you care, and to show me that you're not just here for my goddamn Owl House video. And in the event that I don't see you, then good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. See you in the next one, shitlords. Bye-bye!